a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Yeah, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Sing that much again.
in our lives. We're so thankful, so grateful, Lord, for every human heart and every mind that you've healed and every body that you've touched, Lord. God, ever grateful before you that your loving kindness is their new every morning. They're new every morning, your tender mercies, God. And Father, we draw ourselves aside to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Let's just begin to say thank you, Lord. Begin to list out the things you're thankful for, just one by one. Begin to list them out, your house, your home, your car, the blood of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. That's right, it's an exercise in thanksgiving, giving thanks to the Lord. Just keep flowing in that before. Us. It's a thanksgiving list. Bless your name. spoken can be sung. Begin to sing your thanksgiving to the Lord. We thank you, mighty God. We give you thanks to you, holy God. For you are a holy wise God. Yes, we sing our thanksgiving to you. said, Kent, I want you to replace the spirit of complaining in your life with the spirit of thanksgiving. All year long came the word. Not just for a week, not just for a day, not just for a month, but all year long. 
Replace the spirit of complaining with the spirit of thanksgiving. Because you see, America, we've got zero to complain about. We've got everything. Homes and cars and supermarkets, doctors. If we're not careful, we'll end up not needing the Lord. How many desperately need Him today? I still desperately need the Lord. I tell my soul every day, soul, listen to me. My soul says, oh no, you're doing fine. Things are going great. Your wife's happy. Your children are provided for. I say, soul, when we come into the land of peace and safety, we need God more then and now than we did back then when we were kind of in the fight. How many are with me? Wave at me if you're with me. You got it? Let's say it together. We replace the spirit of complaining with the spirit of thanksgiving. Say it again. We replace the spirit of complaining with the spirit of thanksgiving. Amen, church. And we're going to do it, church. Did you see me?
And I can hear the sound of the army of the Lord. I can hear that sound. It's of the army of the Lord. It's a sound of praise. It's a sound of the holy war. It's the army of the Lord. Can you hear it? Are you in that army of the Lord? Well, it's the I had believed 
I was going to see the goodness of the Lord. Psalm 27, verse 13 says that God will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Let's sing it to him tonight. In the land of the living, I would have despaired, except I had believed. I want to see the goodness of God. I would have despaired unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, I would have despaired unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the
praise and glory and honor in the house of the Lord, which is us. So let there be glory and honor and
How to finish out your race As vessels of honor And channels of my power You are my vessels of honor You are my channels of power You are my vessels of honor You're my channels of power Reserved for this holy hour Vessels of honor and channels of power You are my vessels You are my vessels Are you listening, my children? You are my vessels of honor And channels of Scripture says, lead us, Lord, in a level path. For the praise of your glory, Lord. For the fame of your name in the earth. We do worship you, God. We do commit our lives to you in praising and worshiping your holy name. Exalt the Lord. Exalt the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God. And worship at His own. There's a prayer of my heart that uh, it goes on night and day and day and night. And that's, Lord, keep me fresh in the flow of your spirit daily, please, Lord. I want to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Not just for one night, but for a lifetime. You think that's possible, church? It really is. The flow of his spirit. Because Jesus said, I'm leaving. The disciples said, no, 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 you can't do that. I mean, you can't leave us now, Jesus. He said, no, it's better that I go away. It's really a kind of a sad time, I'm sure, for the disciples. He says, better I go away because I'm going to prepare a place for you. How many are looking forward to being in that place? Praise God. I mean, I am. I'm going to prepare a place for you. I'm sending somebody back in my place. 
And his name is the Paraclete. Is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit to Sanctus, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the living God that will lead us and guide us into all the truth, he said. If there's one thing the church has got to grow up and begin to understand is the person and personality of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead called the Holy Spirit. We'll be stronger for it. We'll, we'll be stronger in the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit if we'll listen and if we'll hear and if we'll yield to the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh 